So recently, man, there's been a video of Errol Spence Jr. Um, you know, relaxing after the the loss that he took from Terrence Crawford. I think he's out in Spain with his. I don't even know what to call that chick. If she's his official wife, I wouldn't even call her that, man. You know, after what went down and the recording and all that shit, and I don't look at her as a, as a wife type chick, period, you know, whatever. But he's out there, you know, he relaxing a little bit. You know, granted, um, he's, you know, he's entitled to that, man. He want to go relax and chill with his, 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 his shorty and, you know, just, just live life. But here's the thing, man. While he's there doing that, I guarantee you, Terrence Crawford, if he really wanted to, he'd be in the, he, he's a, he's going to get right back at it. He's going to get right back in that gym and do some, do work. Right now, Bud is on a world tour, man. He's, he's enjoying his moment. And I guess this is Errol Spence's moment to enjoy himself, but I'm here to say this, man. He's done. He's done, man. I'm not too sure much. I'm not too sure if the rematch even takes place, man. You know, because I'm looking at him. Uh, he's out here relaxing with his woman. He should be healing his body first of all. He should be relaxing after that beatdown. He should be relaxing, getting himself back together. And more than likely, he's going out to Spain, probably throwing some drinks back. Then. You know, he's partying, you know, I'm like, yo, listen, man, this don't look like a guy that's really focusing too much on a rematch, man. He needs every bit of time he can take, man. My thing is this, if he's up doing all of that, you know, taking vacations and everything, then that means he's not as, he, he, his body is fine, right? So get your ass back in the gym. You, you talking about a rematch with a dude that just smashed you bro you talking about a rematch in december and you thought it was a good idea even though he could do whatever he wants just saying he thought it was a he think it's a good idea to, to go on vacations and all that shit right now where you should be practicing on your craft to try to beat this dude in the rematch every little bit of time counts man he should be resting his body at home getting himself primed up to go train again if he is indeed taking the rematch. And we still don't know if it's official. I haven't seen any videos saying that. Or any articles saying that it was like. A, you know, he officially activated it. Maybe he did. But I don't know man. I just don't think Errol Spence is in it man. If he does take the rematch bro. It's probably going. He, it's, it's probably the cash out. I mean. He's probably willing to take another ass woman for another big payday. Probably won't be as big as a payday as the first one. Because. The mystique is going really to to this fight, but there's still gonna be an element there that people might want to see. Like, oh, how does Errol do at 154 pounds? Uh, is he gonna be durable? Is he gonna be stronger? Is he? It, will he? He's not gonna be as drained, you know, the excuse that they like to use up at 154. So there's always gonna be a little bit of mystique attached to a rematch with these two, but it's not gonna be as big as the first fight, man. And if he's if he's not taking things serious, bro, and he's in, he's out here doing, he, look, if you still see him partying and going out on vacations, sometime in October, or something like that, from from like all through September, October, he's not he's not taking that rematch. Or if he is, it's not going to be anytime soon. Not sure if he thinks he's going to hold up Terrence because he don't have to hold Terrence can still fight. I don't know what the contract stipulates. Uh, if Arrow activates the rematch, can does that freeze Bud from fighting other people? I don't know. No, but if it doesn't, Bud is gonna get another fight in. You know, and stay sharp. I just think Arrow Spence is done, man. I think that's it. Uh, what what I what I hope doesn't happen is he doesn't end up letting this this loss affect him to the point where. He resorts back to heavily drinking and, and, and you know, we don't, we don't want to see that. We don't want to see that. But I just think he should be, he main focus should be Bud right now, period. Not vacationing. The main focus should be Bud training and resting, get, you know, healing up from that fight and resting 
and training and Terrence Crawford. He should be focused like a laser. Don't seem like he is, bro. And, you know, he got a lady around him that's not really, it looked like she ain't one of them types to be like, listen, baby, fuck this vacation shit. We need to get our get back, get back in the, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's go relax and rest you up. She need to be, have him lay back, rest up, rubbing him down with ice packs and rubbing his feet, you know, catering to him. That's what she should be doing as a woman, not taking trips all over the world partying and dumb shit like that. That's not that's not what Errol Spence need right now, man. But, you know, it is what it is, you know. Uh, people are selfish, you know, like, lots of times. Uh, that's just what it is, man. Um, I wish well for the brother, man. I just hope this ain't, you know, uh, I hope this ain't the end of Errol Spence. I hope he's not done, but uh, something telling me that you know, after this loss, man, like we we not we not gonna see the Saint Errol again, man. So I think he's probably gonna take the rematch to cash out. You know, uh, I think this fight took a lot out of him mentally, man. I'm just getting the vibes, you know. We'll we'll see, but I think he's done. But anyway, let me know what y'all think, man. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I catch y'all later on the next one.